Hello and welcome back to Factorio, uh, episode 16. So, yeah, um, last episode were uh, a lot of focusing on oil uh, to make sure I could get all that up and running properly again. Things should be moving up now. We should see an improvement in plastic, should see an improvement. Um, there we go, that's all full up again, plastic. That's absolutely smashing, which means batteries will be picking back up as well. Uh, with batteries picking up and blue science backs up that's even better uh, what I'll do is get some research going so what do I need um, automation for give me purple factories upgraded accumulators solar panel tier 2 let's do some solar panel stuff because my, uh, my power's not oh my power's fine so let's carry on with robots then Let's think about things here. Right, I'll just dismantle all this because I remember last episode I made here huge balls up over it. So let's take all this away and figure out from the beginning what we need. So, um, do 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 do. To make normal engines. Where's normal engines? They're in that section there to make engines. They're made in that with that, that, and that. So the pipes are being made here, which means I need one of these down there so that pipes can go into there and then from there into there so that's pipes going in I then need gear wheels that I'm doing here and if I send this underground a little bit that's enough what I can do then is bring that over up, up round and I think I plan this just right so that could go up there so now that's going in <clears throat> so that is everything I need to make engines so I can stick that in there can I actually make passive I can I need some steel oh, look at, oh my lord wrong button I didn't blow anything up though because I'm not powerful enough to yet so that's good um, right so I can actually put some passive providers down which is smashing so I don't need this wooden chest and I definitely don't need that wooden chest have I got some repair packs no I'll wait for robots to do it right so let's stick these chests in so that's for that one that's for that one I remember from last time as well I needed some more inserters, so I'll make them while I think about it. Right, so now I need electric engines. Electric engines. I'm made in that as well. For this I need the lubricant. So I need to make some lube. Ooh. Lube. I know everybody makes that joke, but it's a funny one to make, innit? Let's be honest. So that goes into there, like so. So they're electric engines. So I need some lubricant. Let's go quickly down to the heavy oil down here. Have I got any? I have got a chemical plant. That's great. I think I shall make lubricant just here. I only want one or two, um, I'll just move mic a little, there we go. Um, yeah, I just want one or two of these though, so I need, where are they? There. And guess what? No steel. Hmm. It's just made over here though, so I can grab some straight out of it. Thing. And then I can do... 
Where, what did that? Yeah. Just run down here. And I'll pop it. Where is it? There. Just over here. There we go, like that. And then if I stick the chemical plant, I can put that right on end. Don't matter that. And then I can bring over the heavy oil. That's right over here. But it's got its own channel for it already. So I just feed straight off this. I try and keep it nice and neat. Looks better when it's a bit neater, doesn't it? Let's get all this over. Nearly there. And I do have some normal pipe. Brilliant. Right, I need some power on for this. As it happens, I've got some uh, large ones. <laughs> I was trying to think of ways that that wouldn't have come out dirty, and it didn't work anyway. So that's Alien Go Lubricant. There we go, so that's lubricant being made. What I will quickly do as well is throw a few more of them to be made while I'm working my way up here. Don't even know if I'm going in the right direction, but I'm assuming so. Oops. I need to be over that way. And take some of this away. Go to here, I think, then go that way. Actually, what I'm gonna do is come down from that one because, with there being no at that side now, it just makes it a lot easier for later when I need to put stuff into it. So, put that there. Hmm, did I? Hmm. just in case. You can go underground there. Trees! Shotgun's more powerful now, so I ain't got to speed this bit up. It'll only take a second or two to get rid of these. Get out of the way. There we go. Bit of normal piping, uh, which I ain't got because obviously I used all the pipe that I had to make that. And there we go, that's lubricant going up. Right, so I need to get back up to the top. That's all working well. I need to. Why haven't I started all this off? That's just stupidity, that. Right, so I need that there. That can go there. That can go there. And then I need the pipe. Where's the pipe? There. To go in there. And then I need to link this up to power as well. So now... Let's have a look at this. Actually, I want that to be... A smart inserter. I'll make a few of them actually. Oh, I've got some. Fool. And then I need some wire. I've got no copper. Oh, there's loads of copper here. That's fine. Red wire. I don't know why I've just made so much of that. I made five of them like a fool. 
Come on. So that needs to feed into there. That then feeds into there. They can have that. You are already getting what you need. Yep. You should now be outputting them. You can go, because you can be a smart inserter as well. And then we need a smart inserter out. There. Right, the red wire's finished. So now I can set conditions to these that you only work when there is iron pipe less than 500. 500's a good number. And then I need more red wire for this one. Because you only put them. Oh, you fool. Engines in when there's less than a hundred. A hundred's a very good number. Um, right, so that's that research finished. I do upgraded accumulators because I do like them. Alright, so that's now making them. Um, I need another passive provider. I need some power up here. You can go that side. I need one more red wire. Because you go to that one and that one. And exactly the same engines less than I want a hundred of them so that fills that up and then flying robot frames they take an electric engine a battery and some steel plate and some circuits right so you're making what do you take you need circuits so I can just go grab, fling this up here, and you need a, how many do you need? Two. Normal inserters? Yeah, normal inserter will do that. So there you go. I think that's everything you need now to start making. So the next thing, like I say, is flying robot frames. And to make them, I shall go there. And you need to be flying robot frames. Batteries, steel, and them. So you can go there. You can go there. And then I just need batteries and steel. So steel's here, but it's also here. Hmm. Tell me what I'm thinking. Is running a line off like this. Put in a splitter there. Sending that up. Round you there, 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 and there. I'm grabbing all these circuits, and that way it's got them too. Oh, I could have just done it with batteries, couldn't I? Right, where am I making batteries? Just here. So I need to feed off these, which I shall do here 
Send that up. Round. And across. And if I pop that just here. I need some more transport belt. Bloody stuff. It takes ages. I hate the amount of transport belt that you need. And it doesn't stop because you soon start just needing red belt everywhere before long. Which takes even fucking longer to craft. So another annoyance. But that's why people are addicted to the game because it's all problem solving and shit. So what did I need to do? Batteries up here. Fuck ton of batteries coming down now that I probably didn't need everything. Right, so now that's that done, which is awesome. I need power. And then I need output into one of these. And I say, you do not make flying robots. No, that's wrong. Because I can't get a network yet. Right, so I'll put my first robo port down. This doesn't take too long to make a robo port. I generally do just make these in my pocket until I get to the stage where I've got more construction robots. So I just want to make my first load of robots. So what I plan on doing uh, eventually when I have to start shipping stuff in by train, which won't be long probably, is having a separate robot network for all the ore dump. So where I dump all my ore and then compress ore and uncompress it and turn it into plates, all going to be separate areas. We're in, a, we're in a construction network, but not we're in the same logistics network. Um, that'll allow me to... Uh, to do quite a lot with compressing and uncompressing ores and plates and then delivering it around base to be uncompressed. So let's have a look here. Um, so all that's going and I'm getting them and now I've got my robo pot. So I can, in fact, I think I can make... Oh, I haven't done it yet. Shit it. Right, I'll put this down for now. That'll get me uh, a network up and running a little bit. That can go there. Right. You need a bit of power. Which can go there. And you're already beeping at me to tell me that there's two missing construction robots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab them. And rather than messing about making robots at the minute, I'm going to make my first lot of construction robots. Where are they? There we go. So that's four construction robots. You can go in there. And what I'm going to quickly do is throw some, um, some repair packs in. Once that's done, and they go off and fix it, it's officially some robots. It's only four, I know. Uh, but I think I've spent long enough now working on this. Um, next episode, I'll set up automation via robot of construction robots and logistics robots. So they're in there. Stick them in there. Off you go. We, we have robots. So, um... Next episode, guys, like I say, I'm going to be focusing on uh, automation of them two. Um, we'll see what else we need. Um, it looks like petrol's still not amazing, so I might have to do more uh, cooking or oil. Cooking? Um, yeah, that's it. Because that's still going up, whereas that's going up as well. But that's all right. So, yeah, next episode I'll be looking at uh, a few more optimizations, getting robots working properly. Um and then maybe start automating some essential stuff, uh, look at modules after that. So yeah, uh, going well though so far. 
So, I uh, hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, do me a favour, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Um, hit the like button, brilliant for me. Let's me know if I'm doing all right for you. And finally, just, um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs>